Hi, it's Gilbert. Today's Tech Tuesday. Let's check out what today's topics are. I have a website that is offering free virtual field trips for all ages. Even if you can't get on a bus with classmates, you can still explore the world. Find great recommendations for field trip tours, activities, and videos. I have another Google extension you're going to want to check out. It is called Tab Resize Split Screen Layouts. Split Screen Made Easy resize the current tab and taps to the right into layouts on separate windows. I have a Google Docs update for you. Google is finally rolling out the long-awaited function of having both portrait pages and landscape pages all on one document. Teacher Spotlight Brianna Carter from McDermott Elementary School. Check out what she has created for her students after attending my session on Google Slides at the Winter Summit PD back in January. So this website is called Wide Open School. And this website, you'll be able to find a variety of free virtual field trips. First, you're going to want to go to student activities and go all the way down to where it says virtual field trips. The nice part is that it is sorted by preschool grades K2, 3, 5, 6, 8, and 9, 12. So in 3, 5, here is the choices. We have Niagara Falls, visit an animal shelter. If we go to K2, very similar to 3, 5. You know, national parks, how to um, how it's made, candy canes, a tour of fire station. And then if we go to preschool, very similar, there's one on the fire station, a, a museum. You know, spend a day at the beach. So these are just a variety of free virtual field trips that you have um, choices in picking. This could be a website that'd be very helpful for you and your students. So check it out. It's called Wide Open School and um, see if you'll be able to utilize it in your classroom. Here is a Google extension you're going to want to download. It is called Tab Resize Split Screen Layouts. Once you've downloaded this extension, it's going to take your tabs that you have and it's going to resize it and put it in different layouts if you're choosing. So I've downloaded it already. So when I click it, it already gives me some options. These are the default default options. So in your able to customize it of your choosing, but these are just the ones they give you already. So what, how it works is going to, the tab that I clicked it on, it's gonna put all of the other tabs to the right in these different layouts that I choose. So if I choose the first one, it's gonna make it into four different screens. So here I have my Google Drive, a Google Doc, a Slides, and then over here I have my email and Schoology. If I wanna put it back together, I just simply click undo and it goes back to normal. If I just wanted to just do two screens, then I can have over here my Google Slides, and then over here I can have my Schoology. So I can go over with my students, you know, where to find their assignment, and then I over here I can open up the assignments, so they know exactly what to do, and what it's going to look like, and then how it's going to be turned in. All of this can be done on Zoom. Instead of me flipping through all of these different tabs that I have open, I can just do two screens at once. So this is called tab resize split screen. It might be something you might be able to use um, during this remote learning, but um, go ahead and check it out. See if you like it and see if it's gonna work for you. So here is a Google Doc update that I thought you should be aware of. So this update is where you'll be able to have portrait and landscape pages in one document. So here's the example. So I just copy some text from somewhere. And so I'm gonna show you how you can have portraits. So here's the portrait pages and how you can have one portrait page and the other one landscape. So for this to be able to work, everything's on portrait. And so I'm just going to highlight some text just to show you. So I'm gonna highlight uh, up to right here. And then I'm going to right click and then I'm gonna select change page to landscape. So the text that I have highlighted is now going to be in a landscape page. So here is 
the difference. So I have a portrait page, and then as you can see, now I have this text into a landscape page. And then it goes back to portrait. So this is a new update that is just came out a few weeks ago. And so now you'll be able to have portrait and landscape pages all in one document. So I wanted to give a shout out to Brianna Carter from McDermott Elementary School. She attended my session back in January at the Winter Summit PD on Google Slides. This is where she was able to create a sticker book for her students using a fast and easy way to drag and drop GIFs and pictures into Google Slides. If you're interested, it is in bulletin number two and you can also find it on YouTube. Now you'll be able to find all of the bulletins I have posted over the last three months on YouTube and they are all here. So if you're looking for bulletin number two, you can go to bulletin number two and that'll show you the little fast and easy hack on how to drag and drop GIFs and images into your Google Slides. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Tech Tuesday. We'll see you again next week.